Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for July 7th, 2021. Uh, this, of course, will be our last show where I am disembodied. We'll be moving into our new studio tomorrow uh, at WDWNT Celebration. And uh, the first episode of News Today with WDW News Today from there will be on Friday. So make sure you join us for that. Of course, tomorrow night on Thursday, July 8th in celebration of the company's 14th anniversary we are opening our studio to the public our first studio audience in some time for wdw news tonight which is back at 9 p.m eastern time in the u.s and uh, it's our first show with again with an audience since march of last year we're very excited a whole new space whole new look for the show and a whole new home it's on unplanned downtime which you can subscribe to at unplannedowntime.com our newly rechristened entertainment channel for all sorts of fun and crazy and interesting uh, theme park related content from the creative side of WDWNT. So make sure you please join us for that. Now let's get to the news. It's it's a wild one. Disneyland Paris has confirmed that Disney Premier Access is coming to the resort's two theme parks replacing free fast pass services with a paid offering. Now, the complimentary standby pass, which debuted on the Disneyland Paris app last October, has also returned. Supposedly, when we were there, it never turned on. Standby pass allows guests to spend part of their wait time for select attractions outside of the physical queue line, although it does not provide immediate access to an attraction. Think of it as essentially a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance, similar thing where you just then get to get in the line for the ride. Otherwise, you can't get access to it. The service can be activated during certain periods of the day, subject to availability and dependent on the day-to-day needs in the parks. Obviously, when we were there, I guess there was no need. When activated, guests can use the Disneyland Paris app to book a time slot to enter the physical queue line of an attraction and return to stand in the queue at that time. Additionally, guests can choose to purchase Disney Premier Access on the Disneyland Paris app uh, when it launches this summer. The optional digital service allows guests to enjoy the ability to skip the regular queue line for some of the most beloved attractions, including a mix of thrill rides, classics, and experiences for the whole family. From anywhere inside the park, guests can use the app to book an assigned time slot for select attractions with a price at launch uh, from ranging from €8 Euros to €15 Euros per person per ride, depending on the attraction and day of use. Guests without a smartphone can also purchase Disney Premier Access at select locations in the park. Initial attractions will include Big Thunder Mountain, Hyperspace Mountain, Peter Pan's Flight, Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast, Star Tours, Autopia, Yeah, let me pay $8 for Autopia, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and the Ratatouille attraction, which I will not attempt to pronounce the French version of that. So with this, it has certainly been rumored for some time that something like this was coming to the U.S. parks. We've talked about it for years, and with it launching in Paris, which of course is a property owned and managed by the Walt Disney Company, um, it does make sense that Most likely we are days, weeks, months, somewhere in the near future. Um, We will see this at Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort. Whether or not that will mean the end of free Fast Pass remains to be seen. But again, what they're doing in Paris probably, and, and they're doing it in Shanghai also, it's been there for a bit, would probably align with whatever is going to be done here in the U.S. So we expect, we suspect that free Fast Pass won't come back. But, uh, I mean, with public outcry, we know the company will fold. They did it for the Country Bear Jamboree. they done it for Noodles at Ohana. With enough public outcry, maybe a free version will be offered. And let's remember that Paris did offer a paid Fast Pass hand-in-hand with free Fast Pass availability uh, last year. So... Um, anything can happen at this point. But again, it's worth mentioning that the rumor, the word on the street is that this is coming to Florida and California. I scream, you scream, we all scream for Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, which has returned today on Main Street USA at the Magic Kingdom. We even got a brownie sundae to celebrate. Uh, So, of course, Plaza Ice Cream has been closed since last March when the Magic Kingdom closed due to COVID. But now this and Casey's Corner are back in action and uh, you can enjoy them. Uh, Plaza Ice Cream opens at 11 a.m. daily. Mobile order is now available at both Summerfest and the Yorkshire County Fish Shop at Epcot. 
Summerfest in the Germany Pavilion has a menu of beer, bratwurst, and a jumbo pretzel, while Yorkshire County in the UK Pavilion, of course, serves fish and chips. Unfortunately, along with this, Sunshine Seasons in the Land Pavilion has been removed from mobile order. For what reason? We don't know, but it wasn't temporarily available. It's actually been removed. Jasmine has returned to the Morocco Pavilion at Epcot in a distanced meet-and-greet experience. On the entertainment stage to the left of the pavilion, uh, daily you can now catch Jasmine uh, greeting guests. Be sure to visit her there. The dining locations of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios have new menu items, including new plant-based meals. Starting yesterday, Batuans and visitors to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge can sample Chef Strono Cookie Tugs, delicious new dishes inspired by his time on Taco Donna at Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. The new items include the Batuan Beef and Crispy Tapato Stir Fry, which is smoky braised beef glazed in tamarind sauce served with stir-fried vegetables, crispy herb yucca, pickled onions, and cilantro. The Roasted Endorian Chicken Salad, which is marinated chicken, mixed greens, grapes, tomato, cucumber, shaved onion, onion and radish in a lemon pomegranate vinaigrette with spiced yogurt drizzle by the way i am incredibly sad the previous tip yip chicken salad was one of my favorite counter service items in the world i'm i'm pretty devastated the Persianade hot chicken tip yip is crispy uh, chicken glazed in a spicy chipotle sauce over white rice relish of sweet corn shishito peppers a uh, jicama uh, plantains and cilantro there's the pica tuna poke which is raw tuna tossed in a spicy sriracha dressing served with green papaya salad pickled mushrooms fresh herbs and crispy garlic docking bay seven food and cargo has a new dessert as well the outpost puff which is chocolate pastry filled uh guajillo chocolate mousse and green milk sauce finished with thai tea panna cotta spiced pineapple and confectionery debris mm, confectionery debris the new plant-based wraps at Rano Roasters give Pitmaster Droid 8DJB a break from turning the pot racing engine spit, grilling the Rontos. The spiced Andoan fruit and, I'm going to butcher this one too, chiral pork rind, sorry these are alien words, I don't know what they are, are perfect on-the-go snacks for anyone visiting Batu. The Andoan fruit and muha sauce has sticks of jicama. Uh, cucumber, pineapple, melon, and dragon fruit doused in a tamarind sauce and dusted with peppercorn ash. It's plant-based. Why the chiral pork rinds, definitely not plant-based, are pork rinds seasoned in a savory blend of ancho chili, cheddar, smoke, and cinnamon. You check out reviews of all of these new items. We went and tried all of them at both locations yesterday. The full reviews are on our website. Know what you want before you go next time. One of many new citrus snacks now available at Disney Springs for the flavors of Florida is the Key Lime Pie Donut at Everglaze Donut and Cold Brew. The window has a sign advertising the flavors of Florida. The limited time event runs through August 12th. The Key Lime Pie Donut is a glazed donut filled with citrus custard, piped with sweet meringue, and sprinkled with tendrils of lime zest. It's $6.50 to review on our website. While you're there at Disney Springs, check out the Orange Bird Ganache Square now available at the Ganachery. Small Snack is an annual pass holder exclusive. It's available for $3. It is made of fresh oranges blended with dark 65% uh, chocolate. You can check out our review on WDWNT.com. Over the weekend, we announced that fan favorite Must Do Disney, the TV program on Resort TV, had been removed and replaced. While the extremely popular host of the former show, Stacey Aswad, uh, mentioned our article along with a farewell message yesterday on Twitter. Many fans were saddened by the news as Stacy became part of their Walt Disney World vacations for many years. Her contract with Disney originally was only set for one year, but it lasted 15. But she bid everyone a fond farewell. She will be missed. Cinema Hall, the lobby of Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, will be closing for refurbishment on July 12th. Like other resorts, the check-in experience will be updated with a more open design and smaller counters. The refurbishment is scheduled to be completed in mid-October. The world premiere food court will remain open during the refurbishment. Florida residents can enjoy a stay at select Walt Disney World Resort hotels for a special rate this summer. The discount is available most nights from August 8th through September 4th. Here are some of the hotels and special rates. For Pop Century, a standard room is $149 plus tax a night. At Coronado Springs, a king bed room for $249 plus tax a night. At the Art of Animation, a family suite is $349 plus tax a night. The Grand Floridian Resort and Spa Outer Building Garden View for $449 plus tax. 
More special rates are available at the following hotels at the Boardwalk Inn, Coronado Springs, the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Old Key West, Pop Century, Saratoga Springs, Wilderness Lodge, the cabins at Fort Wilderness, and as well the campsites at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. Advanced reservations are required. You could start booking for these, these rates starting today. If you're into sweet treats and beachy vibes, we found some new merchandise for you to scoop up at Disney's Beach Club Resort. The new items include a ceramic sipper celebrating beaches and cream, an ornament, an apparel. You can check it all out on our website. If you are a California resident looking to visit the happiest place on earth this summer, you're in luck. Disneyland is bringing back discounted multi-day ticket offers for California residents. Beginning yesterday, July 6th, Californians can purchase a $249 three-day single park ticket that allows access to either Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, or a $304 three-day park hopper ticket that will grant access into both parks on a single day. The offer is as low as $83 per person per day for a three-day ticket, can be used on three separate days through September 30th, 2021. Mickey Mouse-shaped hand soap has made its way across the ocean to the Disneyland and Walt Disney World resorts. Of course, this has been a staple of Tokyo Disney Resort, both at actual hand-washing stations where you could do this. But then they started to sell this very same bottle at their parks. And now it is for sale with a different design on the bottle here at Walt Disney World and as well out at Disneyland Resort. It's only $9.99, which is actually cheaper than it is in Japan. It's, it's astonishing. I can't believe it. Loki will now be appearing at Avengers Campus in California Adventure as President Loki. Don't go yelling that this is a spoiler because you've seen this costume in trailers. It was on posters. It's been everywhere. I don't want to hear you. You knew it was coming. It spoils nothing of the show, so don't worry about it. But Disney shared the image via TikTok. And, uh, of course, previously you could meet him in his TVA prisoner uniform. Then he was in his variant jacket. And now he is President Loki. Disney also announced that uh, later this year you will be able to meet members of the Eternals and as well stars from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. They will also be at Avengers Campus. No further details of which characters uh, will be appearing were given. Sales and renewals of Disneyland Paris annual passes will resume on July 15, 2021. Guests can also request a refund until August 8th. Annual pass sales had been halted on June 15th, just days before the parks reopened. On Saturday, July 3rd, security agents at Disneyland Paris asked a woman to stop breastfeeding her two-month-old baby because it was shocking other guests. The guest, who is Australian, was completely shocked when security asked her to hand over and delete video she had taken of their intervention of her breastfeeding. Things then took a turn when the incident was posted on Twitter the next day, and in fact, it turned into a really nasty situation out there with Disneyland Paris uh, really getting roasted over this. Uh, Disneyland Paris did, in, in fact, respond, saying, Hello, Disneyland Paris provides mothers with the baby care center with suitable and comfortable equipment, such as special breastfeeding seats. We deeply regret this situation and once again offer our sincere apologies to the mother concerned. The request made... Uh, is not in line with our rules and procedure and our values. There are no restrictions on breastfeeding at Disneyland Paris, uh, which obviously maybe there was that day because the security team. So let me explain. A lot of people probably don't know this, but Disneyland Paris actually hires a third-party security team. Um, they're not actual cast members. And that does lead to some problems like this. In fact, one time... Uh, we were escorted out of the Frozen show at Walt Disney Studios Paris because my significant other went to the restroom and they never gave her, a, apparently you're supposed to get a bathroom pass to come back into the line, but when she exited, the cast member never gave it to her. And so coming back in, like, uh, you know, we, she was held and they wouldn't let her in the show and security, like, escorted us out of the show. Eventually I went to guest relations, cleared up, and they gave us... Uh, several things for the mix-up because they realized they had made a horrible mistake. Um, but but with third-party security, it, it, these things there happen sometimes. It's really not comforting. I mean, they're, they're I mean they're kind of scary looking, and they're not Disney cast members. And these weird things happen all all the time. So uh, just another interesting uh, incident with the Disneyland Paris security team. Maybe it's time to bring that in-house maybe just let them check bags and maybe like in park security should be uh cast members i don't know maybe fix this problem 
Tokyo Disney Sea's 20th anniversary Time to Shine celebration is fast approaching, with September 4th just under two months away. And in commemoration of this momentous milestone, Mickey and Minnie are receiving special costumes. We got our first look at these looks uh, via the Tokyo Disney Resort blog. Featuring a mostly white design with blue accents for Mickey and pink accents for Minnie, the two costumes will debut in Time to Shine, an overlay of the Mickey and Friends Harbor greeting, starting September 4th. Guests can also expect to see the costumes on merchandise and even food items available around the park during the 20th anniversary celebration. Now, Japan, please, please let us in. I want to see this. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. This program is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, the Vacationeer, the engineers of your next magical vacation. Sit back and let their team of vacation planning experts craft your family's next trip. The best part, their services are free. Visit tra- uh, www.travel for details. The Vacationeer, the official travel agency of WDWNT. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today here on YouTube, click the bell for notifications, and make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of this show, and as well, an episode of the all-new Park Center, which debuts this Sunday at 8 p.m., new 90-minute format, uh, taking what you loved about pressing issues, what you loved about Park Center, blending them together for a whole new show. Make sure you catch that on Sunday. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today. And have a great big beautiful tomorrow. And I didn't spoil Loki. Get over it.